I am accepting new parts of who I am post pandemic, just leaning into all of my flaws. Um, <laughs> I had a friend um, post a picture of her new baby on Facebook, and my first thought was like, oh my gosh, if I had a baby at the same time, like our babies could be friends and play together. And then the second thought I had after that was no way, my kid would bully the shit out of that kid. Like, <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not <laughs> procreating in my hometown so she can grow up in peace. Um, <laughs> It's really best for all of us um, because we were the kind of best friends that we would like get in trouble for fighting all the time so we would play together at school and then get in trouble for fighting and finally our parents got brought in and they were like look if you two can't be friends and like not fight then you can't hang out and the next day at recess I spent the entire time telling her how I couldn't hang out because I couldn't not be mean to her <laughs> And that's where I started for suppressing the meanest parts of myself for people. I thought we were all doing this, just protecting the betas in our lives <laughs> from the most dominant parts of our personality. Um, it comes out so easily. I was at a crosswalk the other day and I heard the person behind me go, oh, I heard they have good soup there. And I went to fight whoever the fuck that was. I don't know why. <laughs> truly not their fault at all like they just kind of sounded like they had a weak chin and I clenched my fist like that that was my knee-jerk reaction um I think I'm too direct for a lot of the ways that we do things now like I don't date online at all I don't get it I don't get how you're all finding people to fuck off stills it doesn't make sense to me that you're just looking at a picture and being like, for sure that genitalia in my mouth. What? I don't get it. <laughs> they need to move. Like they need to be like, at least like a newspaper in Harry Potter. Like I need. <laughs> I need the technology to catch up. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, cause that could happen later tonight. You could go to a bar after this, find somebody that you think is cute and then see them get up to go to the bathroom and realize that they don't alternate their arms or legs when they walk. <laughs> like that could totally happen. <laughs> like you could text someone for two weeks and then walk into a bar and they could be like, oh my God, I'm so glad we're finally getting to meet. Like that could happen. <laughs> I just feel like we should all be more worried about that. Um, maybe it's just me, I don't know. I am not, like I'm direct, but I'm not particularly adventurous sexually. Like I'm kind of in the middle. Like I like someone that will like choke me with a belt, but also text me back. You know what I mean? Like just a <laughs> nice happy medium. But like I feel like I ultimately have too many feelings to properly execute a threesome. Like, I really feel like that'd be too much. Like, I feel like if it was me and a girl and a guy, I would be so into the girl that I would just not want the man there anymore. Like, I would just be like, mm, you're breathing too hard and not blinking enough. I'm shutting this down. I don't know if you need to be here for this. And then like, I'm also such a people pleaser that I feel like if it was two guys, I would just turn into like an overzealous new server in the South. Like, are y'all okay? Should I sit down? Who wants more sweet tea? Like, I would just be like, way. Just like way too much. I really don't think that it would work with two men also because I feel like I would be too focused on making sure that they still respected me as a person. <laughs> to like truly focus on having a good time. Like they would be trying to Eiffel Tower me and I'd be like, you guys know I went to college, right? Like they, <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> they never care. <laughs> no, but I, <laughs> Um, I've also been accepting um, how horrible I am at getting myself places. Um, I have an awful sense of direction. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. Um, 
Like, you don't have to say anything, but you can just point if you happen to know right now which way north is. Does anybody know? One person. There's no reason for you to know. There's too much light pollution. We can't even see that star. Why does this matter? It's so dumb. <laughs> Why did this become a thing? Like, I'll ask my friends where something is. And it's like, oh, where's that bar we went to last time? It's like, oh, you just go out on 4th and go south. Okay, first off, Magellan, what do we... I don't... never set sail to a bar. This isn't helpful at all. Like, like if I picked you up and told you to get in on the starboard side of my car, you'd punch me in the throat. I don't know why. I don't know why nautical terms are okay all of a sudden. Um, I have a horrible sense of direction. I'm bad at driving. Um, sorry, deal with it. I was practicing while you guys were inside. I'm still bad. I don't... No, what? Here's the reason that I'm done um, feeling bad about it is because I need to drive to get around. <laughs> like, I'm not auditioning for Formula One. Get off my dick. I'm so done. I wish I had a bumper sticker for the back of my car that just said, I know, in all caps. Like, that's where I'm at, truly, with things. Like, people honk at me, and it's like, yeah, dude, same page. Like, I also wish I wasn't out here. I should have left earlier. There's so much regret in this car. Like, please. A guy blocked me in the other day and did that thing where you just have to, like, look at the person in the eyes to see how dumb they are after they do something. Could you ever do that, and then the person is doing something so dumb that you're, like, not even mad anymore? You're, like, you're just knitting and driving. This is bigger than me, and, like, everything's better. It really puts things in perspective. But like, this guy blocked me in and he stared at me and I just stared back because it's like, yeah, what? I agree. You want to get out and fight about how we both think I'm dumb? Like, drive. You're wasting more time. I don't, it's so stupid. Like, I wish that we all had a horn that was one octave lower in the car. <laughs> that lets everyone know that you know you've made a mistake. <laughs> and you're no longer accepting outside feedback. That's really what I need. Like we all have a hand, I need a haunt. I need like a low, like a baritone to let everyone leave me alone. So when I'm in the middle of an intersection, someone will be like, what is this idiot? And you just hear haunt and be like, she knows, she knows. <laughs> Please let me finish this eight point turn. I'm very stressed. <laughs> you all 